Welcome back to DI Bright. I'm your host, Brian. Today on the show, we're going to build a Ghostbuster Death Whistle. Now to get started with this build, I downloaded the files off of Thingiverse. If you're interested in making your own, I'm going to leave the link below. You guys can do that as well. Now, it's going to print in two files, a front and a back. And the way we're going to assemble this is just using basic super glue. That's going to leave a seam liner on the outside, but we're going to go back and fill that in, sand it, primer it, paint it, weather it, and put a necklace on it. Now let's get started. All right, so it looks pretty cool. I, uh, I put this together, and uh, the glue's holding really, really well. It's not coming apart. It's, um, it's like a two-part epoxy super glue. So I, th I think it's going to do pretty well. Um, I haven't really given it a shot yet to see how it sounds. I, I don't know if it's going to sound good or not. I have a sneaky feeling it's not going to sound at like anything. Uh, but we'll see. Um, it does have the seam lines like I thought it was going to. I'm going to fill those, and then after I fill those, I'm going to go in and start sanding and getting this thing ready for paint. Now for the filler, I'm just going to use some wood filler. Now, I know that there's a hundred products that you could probably use for this that are better, um, but I think the wood filler might come out kind of cool. Now, I know this isn't wood, but um, the reason I'm using the wood filler is because it's supposed to look like bone, and I think that wood might be the closest thing um, that I can replicate that with. Now you could probably use a spot putty or, or something like that, a Bondo. Um, but that's what I'm going to use and we're going to give it a shot and see how it comes out. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call the professionals. Go Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural elimination needs. We're ready to believe you! Okay, so this is where I'm at. Um, you can still see the seam somewhat. I'm going to sand it and then I'm going to put some more wood filler on it and then probably do a second sand. It's coming along pretty good though. So this is the sandpaper I'm gonna go with. It's just a pack of 3M. Um, it has a variety of different papers in here. It has a coarse 80 grit, a medium 120, a very fine at 220, and an extra fine at 320. Um, I'm just going to probably start out, uh, I think I'm going to start out at the 220 and just knock it down from there and then maybe go to 320 at the very end, but um, 80 is a little rough and uh, 120 is even a little rough for this plastic. So. Okay, so we've now filled in all the cracks with the wood filler, all the seams with the wood filler, sanded everything, and I've also spray painted the base coat down. Now this is, gives it like a more of a neutral base coat, 
and I'm going to go in now with all the details of the different shades of the tans, whites, and browns. I'm going to add a little bit of grime, weatherization, and make this thing look uh, pretty nasty. So. All the painting is done and now we are going to take the final step of lacing the leather through the top here and uh, around the front. Tie it off and this thing will be done. Alright guys, this is it. The Aztec Death Whistle from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, came out pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to have this little thing now. Add it to my collection. Um, this is made out of just a PLA 3D print file. Uh, some paint. I just basically did weathering, multiple layers, and, uh, and a leather band. It's a pretty simple build overall. Um, enough with talking about this thing. Let's hear this thing. Uh, the anticipation is there. So... Uh, I don't think it works. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> 